Hi guys, it's Aziza, A's and I's today, and today I am going to be talking to you guys about my updated journey on religion. Wow, mashallah, subhanallah, okay, um, yeah, calm down. Before you watch my amazing video, subscribe to this channel, like this video, don't forget to have a good time, and be, be what? I cringy. It's fine. No, it's not. Should I just redo that? No, I can't be. Like, mm, oh no. So basically, I look like a granny. Oh yeah, as you can see, no makeup, nothing. Huh? Who said that I can't wear makeup? It wasn't me. It was the Lord. So you know what? But yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. But yeah. I was just in the mood to comment and just start talking. I just have been meaning to post more on YouTube, but I've been going through a lot. Subhanallah, I'm so grateful for where I am now, but a lot in a sense where I don't really have the time right now to post. Let me just break it down for you guys real quick. Um, this year, a lot happened to me. You know, I'm not going to say too much because I'm not going to expose myself. I got into a car crash. The, let's just say the main things that happened to me, I got into a car crash. I survived. It was a miracle. That I survived honestly the way my car crashed it was like but yeah um I spent quite a long time in hospital in my opinion I haven't never spent that much time in hospital it was about like two weeks and it was not a pleasant experience the main reason as to why I questioned my faith at that time was because when I crashed my car into the glove. Don't worry about it. Can't get dented. If you jump out, sing my shank. No, 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 because I admit it. Yeah, no. But the reason I was questioning my faith at the time was when I crashed my car into the glad. I'm joking. When I crashed my car, done flipsy turnsy, crazy crash. I was conscious the whole time. I didn't black out one time. I was conscious. I was as soon as my car hit, a lot was going through my mind. I was like, okay, I need to prepare for the landing, like prepare for landing. And everything was in slow motion for me. When I look at CCTV footage of my car, it was literally like a quick, duh, 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 duh. but at the time I was like, rah, like <laughs> you need to prepare yourself for when you land. Cause just remember everything might turn black as in I'm going to be gone. Or if you land, just stay alive, please. That is literally what was going through my mind. And, um, I landed, I landed and I was awake. And I was like, I had to pull myself out. So I pulled myself out and I tried to start praying and I couldn't, I couldn't pray. I, I, I remember like, like pushing myself out and I was like, Bismillah And of course I, I know surahs, I knew surahs and stuff. I could, I could have read anything. But during that time when I needed God the most, yeah, nothing was coming out of, out of my Thing. and I tried to do and I know I tried to do the shahada because if if I wanted to read a surah I would have but what I was trying to do was read something more and I feel like if if I would have done the shahada in that moment it would have been done so that's crazy that's crazy but um I remember sitting in the hospital and I was just like questioning my whole life and um yeah it was a lot yeah it was a lot I wouldn't even lie um but yeah here I am now yeah i'm here alhamdulillah like i couldn't have asked for more like that was the best thing that has ever happened to me that crash because it made me so much closer to god it made me realize my worth it just turned me around so much and <clears throat> i don't know why my east london voice is trying to come out but yeah um where was i um yeah, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And the fact that I can now represent Islam with by wearing a hijab is fantastic. Because it's like, with your character, you know, there's this there's such a prejudice, prejudice put on women. Um, when they see a hijabi woman, they probably think stuff like, oh my God, she's oppressed and she's been controlled. And oh my God, this is what the uh, her, her version of the matrix has made her. Da, 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 and she is, uh, uh, uh. do you know what I mean? No, I'm just listening to the Lord. Like, I'm not listening to no Matrix, K-Trix, Satrix, Atrix, BMX tricks. Like, none of that. I'm just wearing it because the Lord has told me to do so. And the reasonings as to why the Lord has told me to do so, it's a pretty good reason. When you do your research, 
yeah i don't give in to any society like societal standards i don't have to look a certain way all i have to do is just cover all my stuff up and i'm ready to go i'm ready to go and i think it's just such a beautiful thing that i feel like as if i don't have to dress a certain way look a certain way to appeal to others because why would I live my life appealing to others or following the standard that the creation has created when I can listen to my Lord? It's literally so simple and so straightforward. But the agenda put on Muslim people and Muslim women specifically in this situation I'm talking about is crazy. Yeah, obviously there's so many things that I've learned in these last six months, you know, and it's such a beautiful process because when you decide to believe in Allah and you decide to call yourself a Muslim, that's just the beginning. Like that is literally just the baseline. Like there is a whole like world, like there's a whole new thing to educate yourself on. The history, the way of living, the lifestyle, you know, the discipline. I just think it's literally so sick. And um actually mentioned this to me a few months ago i think when i had just started wearing the hijab and obviously she was very happy for me um but she did mention that i should take my shahada again and this is something that has it, it kind of like skipped my mind because i thought okay yeah i'll, I'll get around to doing that but now i'm, I'm really thinking about it because i haven't done my shahada since then obviously i have said the things that you have to say uh for a shahada but like i want to go to a mosque and actually like sit down and um like get a guy like get an imam or you know whoever to like sit me down and be like yeah like you know and um i don't know like it just because like a good friend said to me that and i didn't actually think about this a good friend said to, said to me you know because you reverted back to islam so all your sins were wiped away and i didn't deep it i i literally did not deep it like i I don't know what that means. Like, what does it mean if I didn't deep it? Like, a lot of emotion came through to me and I, I became quite emotional when I deep that. And only, this was recently, this was literally like a few days ago, even maybe like last week. I just clocked like, oh my God, did I actually revert back to Islam? Like, like I'm a revert. Like, I didn't realize that I'm a revert. Do you get me? Like, I didn't realize I'm a revert. Even though like, you know, I always had these underlying feelings about Allah and stuff. And, but that's just your heart. That's everyone's heart. And that's, that's what the heart yearns for. And that's what I've realized, you know, the heart. Um, when I clocked that, my, that I'm a reaver, I'm, I was just like mind blown. I was like, am I though? Like, am I? Like, am I? I haven't done the Shahada, like legitimately, like, like in a sense where it's like, okay, now I'm declaring that I'm Muslim. I've, I've said the Shahada in a sense where it's like, yes, I believe in Allah. Does that make does that make sense? Like no, I I know what the shahada did. I just contradict myself. I don't know, but if you guys think I should do the shahada, let me know in the comments down below. No, I'm joking. But um, yeah, it was um very intense when I realized that. Like wow, wait, was I like reborn? Like oh my god, I was reborn. Oh my god, I was given a new life. I had a crash, and then I started believing in Allah again, I started reading the Quran again and I became emotional and it, this is crazy and now only just I just realized like bro am I a reva? Like what? I literally went okay I'm not gonna start exposing myself, okay, but astaghfirullah may may Allah forgive me. Yeah, but I'm not gonna start exposing myself too much. But I, I was I, let's just say I went through the stages of stages, yeah. I went through believing that to then this like believing that to then believing this then to believing and then not and then and then and then now i'm here so it's like crazy and some of you guys have witnessed that which is pretty insane to me because you know I, I think i used to share a lot of unnecessary stuff on so social media um and yeah this is literally just where i'm at now like i want to go to mecca inshallah um you know i want i want to i want genuine like good advice on how to pray five times a day because you know it is tricky um and obviously i have my own questions about islam like any muslim would you know we've been given uh, we've been advised to think about our existence we've been given advice to contemplate and really ponder about our existence and i have so many questions when it comes to islam and the beauty about islam is that there is always an answer there's always a straightforward answer even though there's some aspects of islam that someone may not agree with you need to always understand the why 
just because you have your biased opinion on something or you have something that your moral standpoint doesn't agree with you need to think about the why because when it comes to islam islam in my opinion islam tailors for everyone like it it, it gives you a reasoning for everyone it 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 allows everyone to be equal it gives people freedom you have your choices you have your book of guide like you have your guidance which is obviously the quran like the quran is simply a book of guidance it's a book of signs it's a book of guidance people say oh my god it's a book of science no it's a book of signs just quote dr zark and like if you know what i mean but yeah i mean there are signs of the book it tells you what's going to happen in the past the present the future i'm just rambling on but i just have so much to say um which is a beautiful thing and i have my questions all the time like obviously i was reading about concubine binage that's what how you say it concubinage and stuff and at first i was like wait this sounds a bit wrong then i started doing my research and i was like okay yeah makes complete sense like it literally just makes complete sense um and yeah there's some people that i know i'm not gonna name who or how i am related to them if that makes sense or you know how what my connection is but there are some people that i know that say you know that they are muslim they take the Quran and they take all the good things from them, but they don't like uh, dwell too much into like, you must do this, you must do this, you must do this, you must do this. It's more of a thing where you have your guidance, you have your moral standpoint, be the best person you can be. And it's good to take um, notes from the Quran. It's good to ponder even after you've read the Quran. It's good to, you know, but as long as you believe in Allah and you are a good person and you have your morals, you pray as much as you can, you give as much charity as you can, you help others, you have a good heart, then that is the essence of being a Muslim. And what also about the essence of being a Muslim, what I found so interesting was that um, in the middle of the Quran, it says speak softly, which encapsulates the entire religion. Imagine if everyone literally just spoke softly. It's just so beautiful. And the way the Quran is written, guys, is so insane. It is literally insane. Like, it's like a comp it's like a book it's just a book like it's just a story it's just written so beautifully so eloquently like what other book what other book is going to tell you about the past the present and the future in such a detailed way on how to raise your kids like 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 actually like how to actually raise your kids like all the free thing like all the things a woman can have like all the things a man can and can't do. like it's just so down to the bone and like of course it is a word for, word from god i'm not going to speak too much on how the quran is like the word of god do you know what i mean but it is like <laughs> let's not even go there please please the video will be hours long i know you guys have bills to pay you know you can't just be you're not but it's intense i'm i, I just feel like i just was like <laughs> and then like you know my breath stinks like literally i got a tooth removed if you've ever, if you've ever had a tooth removed then you know but i hope you guys enjoyed this video this video was basically just a summary a wrap up an updated version of my relationship with religion if you have any other questions for me feel free to the Feel free to comment in the comment section below or any other one of my socials. I'll put them here, 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 wherever. Just acknowledge them, follow them, do whatever you want with them. I hope you guys have a good day, a good evening, a good breakfast, a good lunch, a good dinner. And remember Allah in everything that you do. Be grateful. If you're going through any hardships, just pray, pray, pray. I'm making my dua for you guys. Um, love you. And if you want to see any other specific videos, just let me know. You know where to go. Aziz is on patrol. You know how I do. My lips are dry. Okay, bye. That was sly. Okay, goodbye.